فعاش القلب إخلاصا وافر تتحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير You see we have celebrities, yes we do. Celebrity, when I looked up the word in the dictionary, it means a famous person, someone famous. But unfortunately, that word is used in the pop industry, music industry, etc. So it's become a word that is synonymous with that which is entertainment. So to use the term celebrity when it comes to Islam leaves a slight bad taste in the mouth because of reducing it to mere entertainment when it isn't or it shouldn't be. So I want to tweak it by saying, if you, and this is going to be some point of learning that can go down in history, inshallah. Whenever you learn the deen from someone, understand that it is the message you are more interested in rather than the person who brought it. So don't glorify me as an individual. If you like the way I put things across, no problem. You pray for me and pray for others too. If you like the recitation of a specific Imam, and maybe the recitation of others might not inspire you in the same way or touch you because maybe you like a specific tone or tune, there is nothing wrong in having a favorite reciter of the Quran. And we all do, and I do too. And for your information, my favorite changes every time I hear another person who perhaps uh, you know, touches a chord within me. Okasha Kimene is a powerful reciter. Have you heard of him? Go and check him out. Really, his recitation touches me. Ra'ad al-Kurdi, his recitation touches me. For example, originally I was a fan of Sa'ad al-Ghamidi. Before that, I was a student of Sheikh Ali al-Hudayfi, for example, and so on. But when it comes to the speech and the lectures and the teaching, the same rule applies. You might have a favorite, a favorite lecturer because when he talks to you, maybe he inspires you. Maybe he motivates you to do good. And maybe someone else might not be your favorite because they make you feel so unacceptable. They make you feel like you're already burning in hell. There's no harm in having a favorite for as long as that favorite is taking you closer to Allah and not to himself. So the day I come and promote my own self, that's the day you go away from me. Because the only reason why you know me, let's face facts, is because of the deen. If I was promoting anything else, we would not know each other. Do you agree? So let's keep it that way. Let the deen be of motivation. There's no harm if someone is famous for the right reasons. No harm. There's no harm if you want to go to a specific lecture and you do not want to go to another lecture there's no harm actually those who say that you have to go to every lecture they are wrong the reason why they are wrong is there are so many who doom us i personally and they themselves who claim that you got to go to everyone they have their own favorites they have their own people who they love listening to why when i listen to this person i feel like being a better muslim i feel like being a better human being nothing wrong so i don't like to actually use the term celebrity to refer to Islam and the Muslims. And I also need to make it clear that when we do attend, the idea should be to obey the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to become closer, to be softened. You know, there is a lot I could say, but uh, that much in, inshallah is a good enough dose for today.